Hi guys, uh, I'm Salman. You guys are watching Microsoft OneNote Training by OneNote Camp. Uh, you guys can access my blog with the mentioned URL onenotecamp.asurewebsites.net. You guys can uh, watch my videos on uh, uh, YouTube channel OneNoteCamp. Uh, you guys can follow me on the Twitter with the Twitter handle OneNoteCamp. So in my previous uh, video, I have shown you guys uh, how to insert Microsoft Excel spreadsheets in OneNote pages. In this video, uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what are the different uh, versions of Microsoft OneNote has. Like, uh, if you are using Windows 10, uh, we will have uh, by default uh, a free version of uh, Microsoft OneNote, which is uh, usually called uh, OneNote app. And uh, the second version of Microsoft OneNote is uh, when we install. Uh, Microsoft Office 2016 and it provides us with the Microsoft OneNote 2016 desktop version. The third uh, Microsoft uh, OneNote version is online which we access with the uh, Microsoft uh, uh, accounts like Hotmail, Outlook and uh, that automatically saves uh, uh, the OneNote books in uh, OneNote Drive. To show you guys uh, how we can access uh, different three versions uh, I will give you a small demonstration before that demonstration uh, let me show you uh, uh, the brief uh, user interface introduction of pre uh, user interface of uh, Microsoft OneNote app which comes free with uh, Windows 10 to open Microsoft uh, OneNote app we will just go to the start menu here we can see that this is the only uh, without uh, mentioned uh, the version this is only will they will be only written one note we will click that I have already signed up and provided the credentials so uh, when you will uh, first time open Microsoft OneNote app in Windows 10 it will be like this uh, the first window will be you will they, they will ask you to uh, uh, either you will provide a Microsoft uh, personal account or you will uh, go with uh, the Office 365 account or work account. The second uh, window is showing that they will you will provide the credentials. And third, this is opened. So let me show you. So this is uh, the most uh, simplest uh, ribbon uh, among all uh, Microsoft uh, OneNote versions. As you can see, the four uh, panels here. Uh, this Insert tab. The third one is Draw tab. And uh, the fourth one is View tab. Uh, every tab uh, has different uh, options uh, in this uh, we can let me just make it simple okay the page is now without any lines or grids now uh, if we want to ins uh, insert a table in that we will just put some data in that and tab press button okay so if we want to insert a picture just go to the text off versions okay here I gotta find insert one would have this is and uh, if we want to attach uh, a PDF file or different attachments we can also do that in the draw option we can find uh, several options to draw this, uh, this a pen because uh, automatically it, it comes up with the, uh, the typing uh, mode uh, not the pens pen mode so like that we can freely draw any kind of thing or we can write any kind of thing any kind of text I'm just writing my name Salman here and uh, we can change the color of that we can write one note here I will just take you guys to some uh, navigation here uh, as we can see the notebook uh, is this is the by default uh, it will create uh, with a name uh, one notes notebook here's are the settings we can see the settings we can see options here uh, which provide the syncing uh, capabilities and uh, here we can see the account with which I have signed up this is I have provided we can add different accounts 
So this is Microsoft uh, OneNote app uh, which by default comes up with uh, Windows 10. Let me close that. So the second thing is the second version comes uh, in the online form. So if we want to access Microsoft OneNote online uh, we need to have a Hotmail account, Outlook account, or Microsoft account. I have already signed up and opened uh, uh, a Hotmail account. Now if you want to go to uh, uh, Microsoft OneNote Online, I will just go to this, uh, click this grid icon. Here we can find uh, several uh, uh, icons here including calendar, people, and our concern is here Microsoft OneNote so I'm gonna click that it will uh, open a window here we go I have already created uh, two notebooks here one is uh, uh, created by default and second one I created now if we wanna create a notebook we will just press the button new and uh, here we go I will name it online version here we go we create that it will take uh, some time as it's a SaaS application depends on uh, the speed of my internet which is a bit slow here let it create it is taking some extra time but if you have a uh, fast internet connection it will create uh, fast okay here we go so it is opening now one note online uh, notebook here we go as you guys can see that uh, this is uh, the user interface of uh, Microsoft one note online uh, notebook here we will create uh, just a page uh, I will name the page my first page and here on the left side you can you guys can see that automatically in the page panel the name of page has been changed I'm gonna create another page. Uh, I name them two, pa three pages. Okay, as you can see that. And uh, same way, if you wanna create a section here, uh, my second section, we can name uh, the pages. Page one. We can create another page. Page two okay so uh, this is how we can create uh, Microsoft uh, one notebook uh, uh, online hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys uh, uh, some tabs uh, which are most uh, more jumbled as compared to the one note app because uh, here we go it will provide some more functionalities we can see them uh, here the style pages we can here uh, see the spelling meeting details you can insert here we can see the new page a new section the table we can uh, use uh, pictures options to insert pictures uh, file attachment office add-ons if you want to even record uh, the audio it ha has the capability to record uh, the audio and the symbol uh, and here's the print if you want to print anything here we go name the page so this is how we can uh, uh, create uh, Microsoft uh, One Notebook online and this is uh, the second version I'm showing you that uh, Microsoft One Note has which is online we can share our uh, notebook uh, with our colleagues with the option we will just provide their email IDs we will just put some uh, the content regarding this uh, book and we will share them so this is how we can uh, uh, create Microsoft One Note online version the third option is I'm going to show you guys. This is Microsoft OneNote desktop uh, application. Uh, when we install Microsoft Office uh, 2016, it uh, provides us several of applications like Microsoft uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, and it also provides us uh, uh, with Microsoft OneNote desktop uh, app. So to open that, we will just go to Start menu and we will choose this uh, tab on which my cursor is uh, revolving uh, this is OneNote 2016 I just gonna click that here we go it will open that and uh, this is how uh, we can create uh, 
our OneNotes in the desktop version. So in this video, I have shown you guys uh, how to uh, what uh, different versions of Microsoft OneNote has and how to we can access them, how we can open them, and how we can create notebooks and uh, some we can put different type of data. Uh, thank you so much.